All right, so at this point we've gone through and we've built our blog, we've installed it, we've purchased a domain name, we've purchased hosting, we've learned how to get articles on there and use WordPress, we've learned how to optimize our articles, and we've learned how to get our articles out to the public so everybody can see your stuff and you can start to get some great traffic from your articles. Now is when you have to kind of evaluate where you want your blog to go. Are you happy just having it be like an online journal where people can read it and participate in it? Or maybe are you looking to make some money from it? So a lot of people write blogs um, kind of with the sole purpose or maybe half the purpose in being to make money from it. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it. Uh, and this is another landscape that's constantly changing. So some of the things I'm going to show you here may be relevant now. Maybe the companies will change, but at least kind of get some ideas from what I'm going to show you here and kind of implement it, see how it's going to work best for you because there's kind of cons and pros, pros and cons to each of these options here. I'm going to talk through some of those here, but you need to find out what's going to work best for your blog specifically uh, just because, again, you don't want people coming to your site and having it look overly advertised or um, just kind of spam me from just having too many links and uh, people will really start to kind of downgrade your content thinking that you're writing it just to get clicks or just to get people to purchase stuff. Uh, people want to feel like they're actually being informed and not just sold to. So you gotta take all this stuff with a grain of salt and see what's going to work best for you. So the first thing I want to show you is adding banner ads to your website. Now it's probably one of the oldest forms of advertising um, for online websites and a lot of people use this. Personally I've never found it to be a great source of revenue. People get what's called banner, banner blindness where they just kind of stop seeing banners after a while. They're so used to seeing you know, things rotating and flipping and blinking or just the sidebar area where an ad usually appears where they just immediately click off of it or you know if a pop-up comes off they get rid of it um, or they just don't even look at the sidebar because they know it's where all the ads are. Again, people that don't really want to be sold to, they want to find good content and kind of move on. But if there's something that's relevant to them, then they may have more of a chance of clicking on it because it may relate to the story. So one of the best places to do that is Google AdSense. Uh, now, if you have a Google account, which you should at this point because it's important to have analytics set up in your website and um, a sitemap created for your website and all those things you're going to want to submit to Google. Uh, so having a Gmail account is going to be how you get into that. If you have that, um, I would also apply for an AdSense account. Now, some people get these right away. Some people say that your blog has to be up for a certain amount of time or you have to have a certain amount of content. Um, Maybe wait until you get a little bit of traffic coming to your website. Maybe wait till you've got you know five or ten posts on your website before you try applying to this. And these guys can uh, deny you for just random reasons. Uh, they can also be very particular once you have an account set up, as far as um, you know, just all of a sudden canceling your account, and taking the money that you had in the account because they think that maybe people are clicking on your banners maliciously or you're clicking on your banners. All that stuff can get you banned pretty quick from AdSense. But on the flip side of it. AdSense is a great source because they look at the content that's on your website. So if you're writing an article about food or cooking or something like that, they're going to serve relevant banners uh, according to the content that's on your website. So again, you have a cooking website, they're going to show banners that have information about pots and pans or food or different things like that that is relevant to that article. So definitely consider AdSense, but if you don't want to do AdSense, there are a lot of other options out there. Um, these are just a few of them. Again, these change from day to day. Uh, there's always something different going on out there. Media.net is a good one. Uh, these guys have different types of banners that work, may work on your website, maybe a little bit better than Google. Uh, but again, this is up to you to kind of take a look at, see what you can apply for, and what's actually going to work best on your website. Uh, this is a good company here. Infolinks is not a bad one. I've used this one before too. They have different types of banner ads. They have some very common ones, um, but they also have like banner ads that come up on the sidebar of the website or maybe that pop up from underneath. Uh, they have all different kinds and they're always changing their types of banners as well. Uh, pretty easy to get into. They make a pretty decent amount of money from when people click on your banners, but it's a good resource to use. Uh, Revenue Hits, that's another good one. Uh, different types of banner ads that they have. Uh, consider taking a look at them. Now I'm going to put a list of all these websites in uh, the account here so you can download it. But again, remember that these may change from day to day. Uh, Chiquita's been around for a long time. I'm not a big fan of their banners, but some people swear by them and some people have good success with them. Again, it just depends on what's going to work best for you. Adversal, uh, another good 
company. They have uh, different types of banners as well. Let me take a look at them. Uh, Clicksword.com, another older um, art advertising company that's been out for a while. They've got all different kinds of solutions, so definitely take a look at them. Bidvertiser, they're a good one. Uh, again, you can monetize your traffic by having all sorts of different types of ads. You can see they've got pop under ads and domain name redirects and all different ways that you can make money from them. Uh, last one is Intellilinks. Uh, again, just different kinds of banner ads and things that you can add to your website. So take a look at these guys, at least start here, but feel free to do a search as well for different types of online advertising or ad advertising companies. Because uh, again, everybody everyone may offer something a little bit different both in the amount of money that you get every time somebody clicks on one of these banners but also there's a different payout rate so maybe one will say hey as soon as you make 25 bucks we'll send you a check another one may be a minimum of a hundred dollars uh, just kind of fill them all out feel free to kind of mix and match some of these different options here and see what works best for you all right so in the last video we took a look at a bunch of different banner ad companies that you could use apply to them see who accepts you uh, you know some of those banner ad companies they're looking for a specific type of blog or website to post their ads on so don't feel bad if you're getting rejected from some of these uh, definitely look around find out what works best for you once you have one of those uh, I would suggest using a plugin like this doesn't have to be this one but this one works well I've used this one before it's called quick AdSense and what it does is allows you to put banner ads into different parts of your blog post very easily and without having to manually put them in every single article so now they're not taking any of the money from uh, your banner ads or anything like that you just get this free download you plug it into your website very easy to install and once you get into your blog post here's kind of an example of what it's going to look like you can switch over to text view and what you're going to get is different places where you would place the ad itself. So maybe this is a, off in the widget or it's at the beginning, middle or end of the blog post. It's nice to have those show up in different areas so people aren't just getting inundated with uh, ads at the very beginning or maybe they don't wait till the very end. You can kind of mix and match in the middle. Uh, you can also just inject the code right wherever you want it. So maybe if there was a relevant uh, banner ad that you saw that you were getting and you had an article that pertained to it maybe you'd want to put that in that certain spot so quick adsense is a great way to go again take a look at some of the other plugins as well you can just do a search for uh, google ads or adsense or um, ad placement something like that within wordpress and you're going to get to see where those go now ads are not the only way that you can make money from your website. And that's what I want to take a look at are some of the other options that you can do to make money from your website. This is a site called cj.com or uh, commissionjunction.com. It's one of the bigger sites where different companies come to them and they look for people to do things like write articles about their product and then link to them. And what they do is they become kind of the middleman on this whole process where Maybe I wanted to do an article about, I don't know, dentists or contact lenses or something like that that I thought would be relevant to my readers and I could uh, request to join their program where if somebody clicks and actually purchases, now this is not just a click, this is actually clicking and then purchasing their product, they're going to track this information and I'm going to get a bigger commission on that. So let's go take a step back and think about the ads that we just talked about in the last video. AdSense, um, Chiquita, all those different companies. When you click on their ads, you're going to get anywhere from a penny to maybe a couple dollars for that one click. In the instance of a uh, company like this, like Commission Junction here, you could get anywhere between five and a hundred dollars, maybe more, maybe less. Just depends on the company and the product itself but you're gonna get that kind of money as soon as somebody makes a purchase. So if you have a really good article really promoting something like, you know, dentist or contact lenses, or again, there's tons and tons and tons of different companies in here, um, you're gonna get paid a much bigger commission on it. So you can see over here in this right-hand column, uh, they're gonna show you the average seven-day estimated cost per click is 6.91. Uh, British pounds, I believe, is what that is. Uh, I have to change this over to US dollars. Here's some US dollars. So here's a case where, on average, people are getting about two dollars and forty cents for a, um, a lead on this one, whereas opposed to got junk is getting almost seventy dollars per purchase. So again, somebody clicks on this link from your website 
commission junction will track that information and if somebody actually makes a purchase you're gonna get a big old check for almost 70 bucks right there so uh, here's another one ink farm their average uh, cost per or payment that they're giving out is almost $120 uh, commission so uh, a lot of different companies in here a lot a lot of good ones all you have to do is come over to this area over here and you can search for things so maybe if you have a blog about I don't know like yoga we can see if there's any kind of relevant yoga oops maybe I typed that in the wrong spot yoga let's clear that one out okay so here's a whole bunch on fitness I'm um, guessing maybe these, some of these companies either sell yoga products or maybe I'm just getting a bad filter here but we can actually see so it's 24 hour fitness almost 30 bucks uh, US dollars for every time somebody signs up through their website so a lot of people do write articles specifically for these types of things and uh, they get you know good commission checks 90 bucks you know 17 bucks 42 bucks again this is not cost per click this is cost for actual acquisition so now there are some other options up here as well I do like this one's one of my more favorite once you've built up a blog and you've got a decent following uh, you can actually show the amount of traffic that you're getting different things like that you can on your website offer to have paid guest posts now this is you can do this different ways you can have a um, PayPal plugin in here or you can do um, basically kind of filter people out first and then ask for money later on but you can have this guest post area on your website have a nice little contact form that explains what you're looking for on your blog and somebody can submit an article that could be it's probably gonna have some kind of paid link in it uh, so you want to filter those out make sure there's nothing too spammy in that link but if the blog article fits your website and you feel like you like it you can then suggest that you would like to make 10 20 30 dollars off that article for you to post it as a sponsored article so this is one way to do it um, just kind of filtering people out like this what people do kind of on the flip side of it is they will google um, and in quotes guest post or um, guest writer something like that and they're going to find websites that offer guest posting and people will start to find your website and they'll take a look at it and say you know what this kind of fits the content that I'm looking for I would like to submit a guest post and they will then uh, pay you to do it or you can offer it for free for a little while but um, it's a good way to make money I find it's a lot nicer than having ads on your website uh, it looks a little bit more natural it could even look like you wrote the article or just extra content for you to put on your website maybe you're a little bit slow in writing um, having paid guest posts is a nice way to keep your blog active now if you are blogging about something I don't know, maybe more creative uh, craft like uh, different things like that you can actually sell things on your WordPress website. Now this could be a whole separate uh, training series uh, installing WooCommerce or an online shopping cart like this, but a lot of people do blog to then talk about products that they sell or make or whatever the case is. And you can make this shopping cart very easily by using this Word, uh, WooCommerce WordPress plugin. You simply install it on your website. It walks you through how to set it up and how to uh, basically just plug in any kind of credit card information that you want shipping information it's very very robust it's a great great plugin and you can sell pretty much anything on your website I've helped people set up uh, these types of shopping carts for everything from cosmetics to uh, comic books to regular books or just things that they had written themselves uh, you can sell one item you can sell you know hundreds of items in here so uh, the alternative would be to go to something like a Shopify or you actually have a full paid website where you can sell your products on there this is a better way where it's a little bit cheaper you're not paying as much as like Shopify you just pull this plug in right into your website install it. it's very very simple to do um, a lot of people then will also blog and then link to external sources so something like Etsy where again they're making different products people are then selling them they can maybe write about them and then link over to places like this where they have their own Etsy shopping cart site this takes the hassle out of having to have that shopping cart on your website itself and having maybe like an SSL or other things that you're going to have to get um, it really kind of eases the whole payment processing uh, situation by using a website like Etsy um, you could also link to eBay or Amazon or different places where you can sell products so um, just remember that these guys take a small portion of whatever money you make whereas if it's on your website you get to keep all the profits one of the last places I'm going to show you here is a company called Adzy, 
and this is a great there's a lot of companies like this but this is one that I use a lot of times where maybe I want to get relevant links to my website so I would post uh, an article of mine onto other people's websites but you can also list your website on here so that people can then choose to purchase uh, basically placements of links or articles on your website uh, it's very similar to the one we talked about before with the guest posting this is just a marketplace that gets your information out there in front of other people getting them to notice your website and then purchasing that again that spot on your website to post an article I really like this one a lot um, again I kind of use it because it looks more natural what you can do is come in here you can look for websites uh, or people can you know look for websites that have a certain uh, domain authority or page authority uh, the amount of links that they are looking for the actual categories that they're looking for so again this kind of filters out a lot of people people can say oh I'm looking for a website about food to be able to post my guest post on and you can see let's go ahead and just do one here so we'll say we want this to be in English you want to do category of food uh, I'm not too worried about the domain authority for this example and I'll say search and I'll scroll down you can see people are charging $114 to have a single article posted on their website 171 214 so oh goodness $714 to post an article on their website so um, off the grid news wow so there's a lot of opportunity to make a lot of good money on here once you have a decent website that's up and going so you can see really what the uh, the big difference is here is the domain authority and the page authority so the higher domain authority that you have the more people will want to put content on your website get their links on your website you see this one's a big old 66 domain authority that's awesome so again they're charging 714 dollars to do that a lot of good money to be made from blogging in here so hopefully that kind of helps show you some different ways it's very simple to make money from your website of course you can always go more in depth and there's a lot of other companies that you can use I just wanted to touch on some of the big ones here and hopefully that helps so I really hope this has been helpful to you we've walked through a lot of steps here and like I have said uh, many times throughout these recordings is that things are going to change constantly uh, there will always be other resources for these same kinds of things so no matter what version uh, how old this video is you can always find that the basic principles will always be the same but you can always find very similar different companies that do the same thing different plugins that do the same thing different themes that do the same thing you just have to do a little bit of searching sometimes you just need to be pointed in the right direction to do that so I wish you the best of luck in your blogging career uh, hopefully you take advantage of some of the resources that I've posted along with these videos here and hopefully you have an awesome blog I'd love to check it out so so feel free to ask any questions that you have that come up um, otherwise I wish you the best in all of your blogging success <laughs>